Good evening, collective. I'm divinely destined. Welcome back to another video. I have a general, it's a general collective message read for us collective. Yeah, just take the message how it resonates. I hear the name Monica. Monica. Yes, Monica is coming through pretty strong here. So yes, happy birthday, Scorpio. Celebrating your birthdays today, collective. Happy Scorpio season. Yeah, I feel like the collective has completed a pretty major milestone here. Yeah, it's been a rough one, okay? But, yeah, you've done that. You've graduated. You're on to the next stage in life here. Yes. There is somebody still behind the scenes today, still trying to um, push the issue here. Something has already been settled here. There's an enemy that has an unpaid debt that they owe God. That is a matter of fact here. But this enemy or those enemies are still plotting and planning behind the scenes today. Perhaps. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Making a situation just unnecessarily uh, brutal. Okay. They're only hurting themselves here. Yes. So I don't know what's going to come out here. Okay. But nonetheless, we're going to find out together. It's always advisable to mind your business. Okay. I've been picking up on a lot of uh, energies today of a karmic masculine possibly showing up to your house or thinking about uh, making a visit to see you. Okay, I've been channeling that pretty heavy today. Okay, you told this person to go to hell, or you know, that could be ultimately where they end up as a punishment for what they've done on the earth. Only God can make that decision. This person is an Aquarius. Okay, this enemy is, a, they're Aquarius here. Uranus represents the zodiac sign of Aquarius. Uh, Pisces energy is here as well. You're healing here, period. They can have dreads, okay? Yes. Ooh, your twin flame is here. Yes. I see pregnancy energy. And I just picked up on Pisces energy. Pisces represents the fish going in two different directions here. The fish represents a pregnancy and also prosperity. Yes, I see preg pregnancy predictions pretty strong here. Yeah, your wound. Okay, your wound is healing, Divine Feminine. Yes, you may give birth to your Divine Masculine. I hear sun here. Okay, this 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 uh, little boy may uh, be born or conceived in November. Okay, that would make him a Scorpio. Well, I'm thinking about February. So if he's conceived in February, he would be born in November, right? Let me know in the comments. That would make him a Aquarius Scorpio here. Okay, something like that is here. Okay, you could you could conceive in February quite li quite literally. Okay. Yeah, you and your twin flip, you tw you and your twin flame, you and your divine counterpart. You guys got business to attend to here. Okay, there's no more time to waste. I see uh, you know, I want to grab you with my loving embrace, but I'm thinking like this this is giving me let's grab a bite to eat, okay? Yes, you and your divine masculine, you and your divine counterpart. Um, you know, going out for lunch, okay? Going out for dinner here, okay? Having a good time with each other. Yes. Mhm. Mm Yes. Wow. There's definitely been an entity that's been plaguing the collective. Okay. Yes. An entity that has been plaguing the collective this year. Yes. Wow. I see a divine masculine that's super, super talented. Look, somebody's watching your home. There goes the energy again. I see a 41 year old Pisces here. Okay. Pisces season, Aquarius season, Scorpio season. Ooh, Capricorn season, Sagittarius season could be significant. There's a karmic masculine that could be potentially physically watching your home here. Okay, yep, with the guilty energy showing up. Yeah, he's guilty. Okay, this could be a karmic feminine as well. Yeah. He owes some bills or some debt on a vehicle here. Yeah, there's a karmic masculine that could be uh, getting a car repossessed, having car trouble, vehicle issues. Yes. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Wow. So you haven't heard or seen your divine masculine or your divine feminine? Could be years here. Ten years. You guys have been in separation for ten years. Okay. Maybe you've never met them here in the physical reality yet. Okay. Yes. You could be getting ready to meet them. Okay. Don't stress about that. It's all part of your divine contract to happen when it's supposed to happen. Okay. Yes, you could be in your 20s. Your masculine could be in his 30s here. Take the message how it resonates. Yeah. <laughs> you and your twin flame share a past life connection here. 
God has watched over you both in previous lifetimes, divine lovers. Make no mistake about it, period. Your divine masculine has been sad without, without you or you had like some sort of ending in a previous lifetime, which was sad, okay? Yeah? Yeah. Your divine masculine uh, could currently be traveling here. Divine feminine could be traveling or, you know, the holidays are coming up. You both may be traveling extensively this holiday season. Or you may travel extensively throughout the year, just overall in general here. I say I see 55 here. 55. Mm. So 55 bro breaking down is a number 10. Okay, I'm hearing Brian is broke. Perhaps his karmic masculine's name is Brian. Okay, he's sad. He's depressed. He interfered with a divine order and will. And he has to pay karma. And it's not nice. He doesn't just want to go away quietly in the shadows. No. He wants to continue this tirade of causing trouble for you, perhaps. He's been warned. That's why 5-5 five, five shows up. And then you see the caution. 55 is saying, hey, stop. Hey, slow down. Hey, leave her alone. Hey, back away from him. Okay? It's only going to end bad for you. It's only going to end in a sad situation for you. Karmic masculine, karmic feminine. It's only going to end up with you owing God a unpaid debt, okay, or a debt. It's only going to end in a horrific situation for you. So they've been warned. Excuse me, beautiful love bug. Yes. Mm. I see jail. I see caution. I see like, uh, what do they call that? When the cops put you in the back of a car. It's not a car, it's like a van. I see all that and they transport him to the prison here. That's what number 18 is letting me know. They've already been cautioned and warned. The month of December could be very significant here. December the 18th could be your birthday. Okay, that would make you a Sagittarius. Wow. Perhaps your divine counterpart is a Sagittarius or Aries, or they have these placements in their chart. Okay, you could be an Aries or a Sagittarius. You have these placements in your chart period. Yeah, there's there's a healing journey that's ongoing at this ongoing at this current time in the collective. The collective is healing, baby. Healing is an ongoing journey. Ain't nobody perfect. Okay, we need we need to work on our anger. We need to work on communication better. Certain things we need to work on still. We're never going to be ding on perfect. We're never going to be perfect, but we got to take accountability and responsibility and we got to be knowledgeable of the fact that we got to do better. And I think I think we're doing that, okay? Yeah, the year 2011 could have been a significant time frame for you. Yes. There's a special person that God has for you that the enemy don't want you to get. Yep, this is an entity, okay? That's the entity with the business showing up here and Uranus. This could be an Aquarius individual that uh, has conjured this thing up to possibly uh, bring, some about, bring about um, some harm to you. Okay, your divine masculine likes Subway. Yes, he wants Subway currently, or he's had Subway today. This could be an Aries woman that decided that she wanted to take her wrath out on you, divine feminine. And she's been doing this um, very brutal thing behind the scenes, conjuring up deities and all that stuff they do behind the scenes. Because, you know, your twin flame is your ideal love choice, period. Yes, there's a karmic feminine that's going through some uh, wounding at this time. The, the number 18 is letting me know that, you know, she's gotten some sort of karma here. The month of December could be significant in terms of a karmic female taking a turn for the worse here. Yeah, I see a hospital, uh, uh, a nursing facility, a doctor's office here, period. Possibly getting some bad news about their credit, karmic feminine in particular getting turned down for a loan, not being able to pay their rent, all that is here. It's a sad situation. A karmic feminine was warned too. She was warned and she warred with you too. Yes, a cycle has closed out here with a karmic feminine here. She interfered with a divine connection in a brutal way, period. Yeah, I see two past life enemies here, period. They could go through a seven to 10 years karmic cycle here where they have to pay off karma, okay, bad karma. Seven years, 10 years, we don't know how long God lets these things happen, okay? Right. Karmic Feminine was truly, truly devastated and heartbroken 
because she was not able to successfully defeat you. She's very guilty. Yeah, very jealous of your talent, okay? Yeah, this could be like a hidden enemy. Ask God to expose her. Yes, ask God to expose whatever you want him to expose about your enemies or about anybody that you feel like you need to have information about for your safety. Okay, Divine Feminine is beautiful. You may be on a plus size Divine Feminine. Man, this Divine Feminine has gifts upon gifts upon gifts. You're doing a lot of traveling, perhaps, in the spirit realm at this particular time. Okay? A lot of things are happening in the dream state at this particular time. You're seeing, you're seeing a lot of stuff in your dreams, or you will be, or you have the potential to do this. You have the capabilities, the gifts to do this. Okay? Your, your, your intuition is spot on. It's spot on. You've been getting these dreams, and, you know, God has been showing you about your twin flame. He's been showing you about this person, or he will. Also, uh, a spirit baby here, okay? God has been showing you now. Pay attention. You like red lipstick, honey. Divine Feminine, you like purple lipstick, red lipstick, okay? Yes. Yeah, your Divine Masculine could have went through a divorce, or he could be going through a divorce, or he's divorced, or your Divine Feminine is divorced, or she's going through a divorce, or she's already divorced. This could be a spiritual uh, divorce as well. Wow. Yeah, Divine Feminine has completely detached from a karmic masculine. Uh, Divine Masculine has emotionally detached, completely detached, you know, from a karmic feminine here. Our Heavenly Father is, he's, he's, he's helping us get through the wounded warrior phase. We've been wounded, okay? We've been through some things. Okay, we've been through some things. Wow. Yeah, I see 7522. Two. Yeah, it's very likely here that uh, there was a lot of spells done to unalive you here. And it's, it's evidence of that. I see 2182. Yeah, you may have been born in uh, 1982. I have a 52-year-old here. I have a 21-year-old here as well, period. I feel like this 2182 is some sort of penal code or something like that, okay? Yes. Mm. I see the morning here. Mm. The morning, and I'm hearing morning. Karmic masculine could pass away. Okay, period. 1923 is here. Wow. Mm. Okay. Divine feminine is manifesting here. She's wounded. Okay, she's been through some things, but nonetheless, the show must go on. I think, like, I think, like, when I see 1923, I think about, like, Chicago back in the 20s or the 30s here. Okay? That's the energy I get from this, this particular set of numbers here that could resonate for you okay yes this wounded individual has been chosen to be a powerful dynamic dynamic force in the world by our heavenly father the archangels are vehemently protecting you and watching over you period specifically michael gabriel is here Raphael as well okay yes archangel michael ask him to get your energy back the archangels are helping to uh cut cords for us in the spirit realm, okay? These uh, cords that people may have um, attached to us without our consent, let that be known. They were not, they did not have our consent. That's why these archangels are, you know, they're helping us. They're cutting these cords uh, that could be potentially holding the collective back. I feel like they've already done that, okay? We're moving forward here. Yes, I see the birds. Pay attention to the birds. I've seen the biggest crow I have ever seen in my life in a dream last week okay pay attention to the birds the birds represent messages expect to get some information about some good things coming in okay you put good deeds out into the world you've done good deeds here on god's green earth and there's rewards that come along with it part of that is um love okay you show love okay you're not perfect but you show love you you did some good things here you've done some good things to receive uh rewards okay the birds is letting me know uh, to expect some information pertaining to a twin flame situation or a soulmate relationship coming into union, period. It's imminent. It's coming in. These, this information you're getting about your significant other uh, is, is imminent, okay? God is showing you this person in a dream state. God is showing you their name on a billboard. God is letting you know different ways about this beautiful connection that he has for you. There's God here. The number three is our Heavenly Father. 
yes, there's a karmic masculine that's still behind the scenes, uh, being a tyrant here, being stubborn, refusing to just give it up, okay? Yes, you may have been working with Mother Yemiya, okay? Yes, she's a powerful deity. Do not play around with her. She, she's an Orisha, okay? Excuse me, she's a powerful Orisha, okay? Yes, so yeah, you may need to work with Yemiya, okay? Yemiya, Oshun, Shango, okay? These are Orishas, okay? Yeah, I see like a karmic masculine or a karmic feminine that is possibly been been trying to use Yemiya, Mother Yemiya in a negative way to attack you or something. And, you know, these these Orishas may be tired of these karmics here. That's what I see. Look, stealing, you see? They have been using Orishas potentially in a negative way here. They've been paying for readings. Mm -hmm. They've also been working with deities, okay? Wow. Deities and Orishas, okay? There's a karmic feminine here that's been paying for readings. It's something about long hair, okay? There could be a Orisha or a deity here that uh, told a female karmic here about something about hair here, okay? I see path, path, and I, I see a gun here. One, five, three, automatically, that, 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 that shows me a, a weapon here, okay? Yes, mm. and I see a, a ward. Okay, so there was a very dangerous uh, karmic feminine here. She's a very dangerous individual, a dangerous karmic feminine, make no mistake about it. Jealous of your success and your, your accolades and just your anointing, your callings, your gifts, your looks, your abilities, you know. You know about her. You know about her. Okay. You know about the karmic masculine. You know about them. Okay. I see uh, 8701. This karmic feminine. Karmic feminine is a Libra. She has Libra in her chart. Okay. Yes. 2519. Okay. What's 2519? Wow. So I see uh, seven here. So a karmic feminine work with other people. Okay. Let's just talk about it. To bring about change and destruction for other people, basically. To make a profit or to manifest something for themselves. They wanted to steal your acclaims, your awards, your re your recognition, your blessings. We are currently in Scorpio season. There's a karmic feminine, karmic masculine working together. You know it, with this me and you. Yes, they were teaming up to do a lot of uh, bad things upon God's green earth. Everybody loves you, divine feminine. Everybody loves you, divine masculine. They wanted it to be about them. You see, they're selfish here. Selfish. Divine Feminine is not selfish. Or she, or, you know, I feel like Divine Feminine has uh, proven her selflessness. Okay. And so has God. But these people want all the recognition, all the notoriety, all the flame, all the flame. Okay. They want your twin flame. They want to be critically acclaimed here. But they don't want to put the work in, not in a positive way. Okay. Your twin flame has never forgotten you. He loves your eyes, divine feminine. Yes. Ooh, there was definitely some plot here. Make no mistake about it. This is a confirmation right here. You had some sort of suspicion that someone was plotting something on your life. Well, this is a confirmation. Yes, it's true. Take the message how it resonates. No, these are not paranoid, delusional thoughts lurking in the shadows of your mind. You know in your spirit, okay? Just uh, don't be watching so many tarot readers that you flood your brain with unnecessary information, okay? Make sure you, you know, when you hear a reader say, take it out, it resonates, take it out, it resonates. Because you don't want, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to say, yeah, that's happening for me if it's not really freaking happening to you. And you're just being a little paranoid, okay? I feel like in this situation, no, you're not being paranoid. You're absolutely correct, period. You're absolutely correct, and your intuition is spot on here. Yes. <laughs> I just see a karmic masculine, possibly a karmic feminine here. Karmic feminine, possibly in the back of a police truck or transportation van going off to jail. They could possibly go, you know, they could possibly be going from a prison facility to a hospital facility as well. Okay. Somebody was on a mission of self-destruction here by targeting you. They, they've been on that mission by targeting uh, others, others as well. Okay, look, they're going to health energy. The energies don't lie. I just said it. There it goes. It's in the future energies for a karmic masculine, period. Karmic feminine, it's just facts. 
Wow. Mm. So there's a lot of information that may come out. God may reveal it. How much they hated you, Divine Feminine. How much they talked about you, Divine Masculine. How much they plotted against you. How much they despised you. How angry they were at you. Okay. This could come out in emails. Someone could have emails of this. Okay. Screenshots. This could be physical proof and evidence that the law enforcement may have. Okay. There's a karmic masculine that has horrible hygiene here. Okay. Body odor. I picked up on a, I picked up on a, a, a karmic masculine that could end up needing a new car, having car, car issues, car repossession. And I, I see here auto damage, period. Period, period. Divine Feminine like fruits. You may like juicing too. You like juicing. He's gone. He's history. Divine Feminine. He may, they may, you know, these karmics, they may have a history of causing auto damage, uh, car wrecks to collect insurance money. That is here. That may be something you don't know about that, that could come out. Okay. They may have tried to do something to your vehicle here. Yep. Yeah, that is here too. Sending spell work at your vehicle to cause you to have an accident or, you know, get some sort of auto damage to your car. Yeah. I see 140. So, yeah. So, 140 is 5. 5 here. This could be a 50-year-old uh, karmic masculine here. In his 40s or 50s. Okay, very childish. That could currently be still energetically spying on you or trying to get back in your energies here. Yes, he wants to connect with you. The energies don't lie. Yeah. This person could be African American. This person could be a person of color. Take the message how it resonates. You could have a karmic karmic brother here that's very guilty today. Okay, yes, they are the one. This karmic brother here. Yes. You ain't crazy. You see, I see re I see rejected, but I see ejected. Ejected. It's like somebody wanted you to have a fatal car accident or a wreck or something. Okay, that's here. 2121. Our Heavenly Father is here. He's got him. You see, catch. God sees everything. Look, there go God. God's child. The energies don't lie. Wow. God is giving them that same energy back. Do you see this match energy? Okay, they want you to get into a car wreck. They're going to get into one. Look at your angels showing up here, too. The angels are watching you. Make no mistake about it. Your guardian angels. They're your comforter. Okay, God is sending angels in to comfort you. Okay, in your time of distress. Period. We all have personal, we all have personal guardian angels that watch over us. They're with us. They're with you now, comforting you. Okay, when you cry, they hurt. Period. You cry in the shower, they're there comforting you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you have you have a beautiful uh, guardian angel, masculine energy that watch over you. Period. I see one nine four, one nine four. You could have been born in nineteen ninety four here. Divine beings, okay. Divine feminine in particular is here. Your guardian angel, your masculine guardian angel, has seen you go through a lot of uh, wounded warrior days here on the earth. A lot of sadness, a lot of grief. Okay. Mm. He doesn't want you to cry. That's why the comfort energy is here. Period. Don't turn your back on God. Okay. There was a lot of things done to the collective. You know, a lot of manipulation done uh, to cause you to lose your faith. Okay. Period. I see cheating here. There's something God wants you to know about somebody. He's going to bring it to the light. Period. 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 Yes. You see, he's going to bring it to the light. There's the busted energy. There was a lot of spell work involved. God wants you to know that, period. There's a low vibrational king of pentacles, karmic masculine that's obsessed with you. Or he was, or he is. Okay, earth angel. Period. Wow, here we go. Look at the bank accounts. August. Yeah, Leo energy and also Virgo energy with August. Okay, your birthday could be August the 3rd. That would make you a Leo. Okay. God is going to replenish your bank account. By this time next year in August, your account is going to be really, really uh, full, okay? Overflowing, earth angel. Just receive it, okay? Yes, our Heavenly Father has uh, removed a very negative, demonic, uh, mischievous individual out of your life for good. I see 1515. 
God is God is seeing you through this particularly difficult phase. In every difficult phase, period. They wanted you to fall here. Possibly even wanting you to have an accident where you literally fall. Like, you know, when you be clumsy and you fall on the floor or something like that. Yeah, they could be up doing spells at night, late night here. There's that Libra energy. Libra energy has been pretty heavy here. We're, we we have officially moved into Scorpio season, but Libra energy is still here. I I, I heard another reader say that today because I was like, I'm picking up on some heavy, heavy Libra energy. And she was as well. OK, we're moving out of Libra energy and we're officially in Scorpio season. We've moved out of Libra energy or Libra season, but the energy is still there. Make no mistake about it. This could also indicate you have Libra in your chart or you're a Libra. They really messed up if they targeted you if you have Libra in your chart. Okay, Libra represents the scales of justice, baby. Period. They really messed up by targeting you. Mm. Somebody wanted to see... Uh, yeah, somebody wanted to see you be broke. Somebody did not want you to get this uh, bankroll that God is getting ready to put in your account. They did not want to see that day come where you get this deposit, but you're going to get it. I see 26, 110. 26, 110. <laughs> you're manifesting uh, the love of your life, honey, or you already have, okay? The situation is coming together. Make no mistake about it. Make no mistake about it. Period. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody did not want you to get the messages from your twin flame, Empress. They wanted the telepathic connection to be broken or destroyed. But your your divine masculine is communicating with you. Yes, he could be a 70s baby, Empress. You could be a 70, 70s baby. Okay, I hear 70 million. Okay, 70,000, 700,000. There's a lot of money coming in. Okay. I'm picking up on a country singer. I'm not really sure what his name is with this music energy in 1976, Empress. Okay. He loved this empress. He loves this empress, okay? Make no mistake about it. Perhaps he had a special day with an empress in 1976. Yes, that go to love energy. The energies don't lie. Collective, the energies don't lie. Okay, let's take a few tarot cards, and we're going to go ahead and close it up, okay? Yes, the energies just don't lie. I've been watching um, <laughs> some YouTube shorts uh, about the Greek goddesses and stuff like that okay maybe that's something you like okay you like the greek gods goddesses or you should definitely go research i've been learning about uh zeus and cleopatra and medusa okay go study those gods and goddesses and you know deities if that's something you want to do somebody's stuck in their head over you what's new okay god hit them with a tower and they can't believe it okay you were you were the you were the catalyst to get this person uh Finally put in a jail cell, you know, wherever they're going, okay? You were the catalyst to help that all be brought together. Or you were a part of the teamwork that our Heavenly Father, it's like a or he orchestrated something here, and you were a part of that, okay? Yes. Yeah, there was a narcissist here that got brought down, period. I see the Page of Wands and the Nine of Wands. It's like they're still anticipating a day when you get some bad news or you have a fall or you have a disaster. It's just not going to happen. The more they wish upon your downfall, the more blessed you become. Period. Yes. And the more they fall, because the more they want you to fall, the more they're going to fall or the harder they're going to fall. The bigger they are, the harder they fall, too. And sometimes they think because they're so big and so popular and so rich and so successful, they think they can't fall. But those be the main ones that fall. And they take they take big falls, too. Look at Goliath, okay? Little old shepherd boy, King David, you know? Think about it. He took him down. He took him down. Okay. Somebody wanted you to get karma. They called judgment on you. Their wish was to see you fall, to be hurt, or unalived. Let's just talk about it. Somebody wanted your crown here. They wanted your crown. They want your crowd too. Somebody wanted your position. And their envious, uh, hateful nature would rather see you be deceased than to see you living in the calling that God has ordained you to live in here. Make no mistake about it here. Our Heavenly Father is well aware of everything here with the will of fortune. Yes, this is medical records here. This King of Wands and the will of fortune is a medical record. They go to death energy. The energies don't lie. I don't have to make it up. The Queen of Swords is behind the scenes freaking out. She thought you were her enemy, but she was sleeping with her enemy. 
Yep, the Ten of Cups represents a family situation. That go her enemy, her karmic masculine, who was cheating her on her with the Three of Pentacles. The energies don't lie. Giving his love to somebody else. Look, there he go. Where he going? To, to meet up with one of his side pieces, his sneaky links. Okay. She thought you were the enemy, Divine Feminine. She was sleeping with the enemy. This karmic masculine, the karmic masculine was sleeping with the enemy. Period. She mad. The Queen of Swords karmic, karmic feminine is mad. Okay. She mad. You see that Ace of Wands? That karmic masculine one. He was juggling that thing. Period. It caused her to be enraged, sad in her feelings. Yep. Car the karmic feminine is a Leo. Heavy Leo in her chart here. Yeah, she found out about another person behind the scenes. She thought it was you. The whole time it was someone else. She married someone or she was involved with someone that wasn't faithful. The karmic masculine was involved with someone who wasn't faithful. Period. They have something that's got them slowed down. This could be an STD. I channeled this earlier in my collective message. You may want to go watch that video. There's a betrayal here. <laughs> so, yeah. That's what I see. Karmic feminine got betrayed by the karmic masculine. The karmic masculine got betrayed by the karmic feminine. Or they just betray and uh, deceive other people just overall in general. Those are just the core personality traits of the karmics. The karmics. Yeah, there's a female karmic karmic that's single here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Trying to figure out how she can block somebody's ace of pentacles. Who's, who's that somebody's ace of pentacles, ten of pentacles that she wants to block? A karmic masculine. Yeah, she wants she wants some sort of vengeance or she has some sort of revenge thoughts towards him now. Yeah, she didn't listen to her intuition when it came to him. All she saw was money or something like that, a, a lifestyle or something like that. But it came with a price, a heavy price. God has protected divine feminine from a karmic masculine, period. God has protected divine masculine from a karmic feminine here. They lived a very secretive, undercover type of lifestyle, okay? This karmic karmic feminine could have just got a reading done here by a tarot reader here. Okay. Mm-hmm. On you, divine feminine. Okay. Yes. It's something like that going on. She wants to see if this karmic masculine is headed your way, perhaps. We know he's not. And if he is, he's quickly going to be shot down. Divine feminine has moved on. Period. The eight of pentacles. That karmic feminine, she worked hard to bring about chaos and destruction to you. That karmic masculine, he worked hard to bring about chaos and destruction to you, and it all came back to him. His biggest enemy was somebody he married or was sleeping with. Her biggest enemy was somebody that she was married to or sleeping with, and it was not divine feminine. It was not divine masculine. Can you imagine what God thinks about that? What God thinks about that? There's God with the sun card. There's God with the sun card. What kind of plans does this karmic feminine have? She has some ill attentions towards God's earth angel. Make no mistake about it. That's what the high priestess is saying. She's jealous and mad about an offer that she just assumed a karmic masculine was bringing to you, divine feminine. Mm. She ended up getting an offer from him, which uh, wasn't very much. Maybe he promised her the world. He couldn't live up to it. Okay. He was never going to live up to it. Okay, I see the King of Pentacles. That's a very low vibrational karmic masculine. I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap this reading up. All she got was heartbreak and pain and burdens. A lot of witchcraft was done here on an innocent soul. Okay, Divine Feminine was innocently innocent in a situation, unjustly targeted here. And a lot of magic was done on her. Yes, a coven. A coven was involved here. Yeah, there's an Aquarius here that was very guilty here. With this vision and the magician here, yeah, they were doing a lot of magic with the eight of eight of wands on an innocent divine feminine, on an innocent divine masculine. They work together in partnerships of feminine energy. You see the energies? It don't lie. The energies don't lie. God knows they single you out and they targeted you. Okay? Do they know that God is gonna hit them with a tower? We are in Scorpio season. The tower represents Scorpio energy. Yes, period. And there's a female karmic here. That's a Leo. Make no mistake about it. That Leo been in the energies all year. She was so certain that this karmic masculine was, you know, cheating with you or you was a, a threat to her. Okay, I don't really know, you know, your situation personally. 
these are just general messages. I do know she wanted some sort of victory here that she never was going to get. She was never going to get. God has closed out this cycle here. An assessment has been had in this situation, period. There's a feminine karmic uh, that her, her daily life is, is, is all fucked up here. Okay. Yes. She Look, I see moving and trouble. Yep, she calls these things to happen for herself here. She wanted your abundance here. She was just overall jealous of you. She has a tower headed her way if it hasn't hit her already. It's in motion. It's in motion. Magic going back. Okay? Heavy backfire energy is here. Make no mistake about it. Period. It was all over a man here. Can you imagine, Divine Feminine? All over a man. There's that narcissistic energy. The Six of Wands represents a, a, a very narcissistic individual. Period. I see the Page of Pentacles making up offerings and all kind of things here. They were doing behind the scenes. They wanted to see you be sacrificed and suffered or suffering. They still want this. I see the Three of Wands. They're heavily cloaked. Heavily cloaked. Okay, cloaking pretty heavy here. This was all over a man. Are you are you freaking kidding me? Divine, Divine Feminine walked away from this situation. She left the situation. She's been guided away by her ancestors. Make no mistake about it. They're watching her today. They're keeping an eye on her today. Her Divine Masculine is a part of her spiritual team. He's watching over her today. Make no mistake about it. Boom. I see the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a Karmic Feminine that was jealous of your Ace of Pentacles. Okay, your Divine Inheritance as well, Divine Feminine period. I see the page of swords. There's Michael and the king of swords. Make no mistake about it. And the hermit. They don't see him behind the scenes. Look, there go Michael. The page of swords indicating uh, he's watching. The king of swords, that's Michael. The hermit representing you don't see him. Okay, but there he goes. He's there. Michael is keeping an eye on you, divine feminine. He's watching you. He's protecting you. He's protecting you, divine masculine. Okay, very, very closely. Period. And your, your abundance. Okay, this Ace of Pentacles representing um, something you have earned here on the earth. Make no mistake about it. Period. Michael is protecting that. Yes, there go Michael. He's in the spirit. Okay, you don't see him, but he's there. He's protecting the Empress. There she goes, right there. Make no mistake about it. Oh, it looks like Michael has been protecting you for a while. For a while. You don't know that. You're going to be married after a while. Yes, the Seven of Swords indicating the Karmics, the Karmics never saw Michael. They never saw Michael. They never saw him. Never saw him. They didn't have no respect for him. Yes, period. I see 28. It was about the money and how they could become abundant off you, divine beings. Period. They was trying to block you every step of the way, but there's Michael too. The Seven of Wands represents Michael protecting you, blocking the magic, sending the magic back, Getting the message loud and clear to leave her alone. Get away. Okay? Period. <laughs> There's a female karmic that's scared today. She gotta get she gotta go get some blood work done, honey. There's a lot of health scares. Health scares that these karmics are experiencing behind the scenes. There's a karmic masculine that could have a very nasty disease here. Looks like Michael knows about this. Michael knows about it. Mm-hmm. There's a female karmic here, too. She's scared about her health or she's worried about some disease that she may have contracted or that she knows is in inevitable, okay? Yeah, she know the man she married. She, uh, this karmic masculine knows the, the woman he, he married, okay? They know each other. They're both worried today about their health or it's just a matter of time before they will be or they should be, okay? It's just a sad day for them. It's always going to be a sad day. They spent so much time watching you and trying to uh, destroy you. They got destroyed in the process. They destroyed themselves here. Make no mistake about it. Collective, if you want to go further, book me. I'm available. Have a great night.